What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. Hey. <laughs> What's going on? What's up, guys? How you doing tonight? Good? <laughs> Yay. We're doing good. Guys. Let me ask you this question, Chris. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, man. Um, snots or boogers? Oh, for me, snots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, when my, when my when my baby's a little, it was boogies, but it's, it's boogies snots. anyway. It's not <laughs> guys. What's up? Welcome to the Badlands, episode three yes. of the season two, entitled Red Sun, Silver Moon. Did you did you catch that? Did you know who those two things were? Because mm-hmm. we figured nah, it out. Nobody knew. Nobody knew. Nobody knows. Guys, we're doing the review this time around, and as always, uh, Jesse, really quickly, ex- you know what? Let me explain this one real quick. The review, what we do is we break it down. Jesse, tell them what we break it down, and then I'll go into what we use. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. So we do story rating, which is the story. We do visuals, which include fight choreography, graphics such as you know CGI and stuff like that, setting, yeah, you get it. Characters and acting, obvious. Oh. Music, which includes sound, and then our overalls. And that overalls. And guys, on the Badlands, we didn't really get to say it the last review we did, but I did put it on the screen. But our rating system uses we're using the uh, the widows butterfly shurikens. All right, those those stars that the that the widows uh, fighters butterfly. use. That's what we're using. Those butterflies. Uh, those butterfly stars. Uh, so yeah. So that those are our thing. I just didn't really get a chance to mention that um, the last time. So now I have this time. Okay. Having said all that. Mumbo, uh, Mumbo, Jumbo. Why don't we go ahead and Mikey? Uh, why don't you start us off and give us your um, your deal, man? Come on. All right, so I'll get right into the story part of my review. I'm going to give it a three. Um, like I said in uh, last review, I'm liking how we're getting the placement of all the characters. Um, but one thing I do like is we meet this new rogue clipper, Nathaniel. Um, which there's a lot of cool um, interactions between Sonny and Beijing and, and him. Um, and another cool part that I see where they're trying to wrap into is the whole Quinn thing, and we'll get into that too because I really like the Vale Quinn aspect um, of this story. Uh, so I gave it a three. Um, for my visuals, uh, three and a half I'm giving it. Uh, I believe we all agree when we say the sets, the costuming, this is – an ongoing trend with these reviews so far, especially with the visuals part of of Into the Badlands. Um, just the just the, the the fights are always great. The the knife throw uh, when Baji saves um, uh, Sunny from from Nathaniel and and cuts Nathaniel's hand off. So we, we we get great effects in this, great clips. You know, it's just just awesome. So I'm giving it a three and a half. Characters, I'll give it a three. Um. I have the Baji and and Sunny dynamic growing, and I think that's going to be an ongoing thing uh, throughout the next bunch of ep- episodes. And um, I wrote Quinn steals the show, and I think Jesse agrees with me on this because he really yeah, likes things, yeah. he really oh, likes yeah. Quinn himself and that big that big um, um, clip that clip I shouldn't say, but that scene with with Vale. And taking the the X-ray is just gonna. I just that X-ray it's was gonna not just, exasperate yeah, things. The X-ray wasn't destroyed for a reason. So yeah. I really enjoyed um, where they're going with these characters. And finally, for mu- music and sound, I'm giving it a three. Also, um, I, I always say that this show is really not based off of the music. It's all the sound effects. So we get some great um, effects always. You know. So I'll just give that a three. And I won't drag that on too much. So uh, we'll go to uh, overall a three for me. Three. Okay. Sounds good to Sounds good to me. With three. a three as I time code <laughs> what you're telling me. Um, all right. So my turn. I am going to give, let's say, story. I'm giving it a 3.5. Um, I actually thought it was a pretty cool story. We had good, mm-hmm. a lot of cool story elements. I loved how she still, you know, she hid the the results from him. Um, I also liked Quinn's craziness with that kid. Um, I liked, I liked, the, I liked some of the dialogue. I liked the dialogue between Waldo and uh, Minerva, which is the widow, mm-hmm. right? And um, yeah, I liked seeing a new Clipper. Like I just liked that they, in, in, you know, gave that in. So, so three and a half for me. And uh, let's see, visuals. Uh, I'm giving it a four because. Um, 
there was so much cool stuff. So, I, yeah, man, the stunts, the 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 swords, you know, just the action. Like, I just really enjoyed it. Some of it got a little campy at the end, but you know what? They're doing campy really. Like, they they they, they go for it. They go for it. Yeah. Um, and also, don't forget the guy, the kid strapped down. Forget the kid's name, but the other kid strapped down while they were taking out his power. Like, that yeah. was sick. That was fucking creepy, you know? Um, and plus, again, the, the cinematography is amazing. You know, when I edit these and I look for thumbnails and stuff like that, so I'm literally, I'm staring at these. I'm pulling the best images I can, right? And there's the blurred backgrounds and the close-ups. They're really good at doing that stuff, you know? So, I don't know. I, I, I really, I really, really enjoyed that. So, um, and then let's see. So, uh, characters, I'm giving a 3.5. Yes. Um... You know, just more great stuff. I said uh, Quinn still stands out. Um, mm-hmm. I said, but they all do real well. I, en- I enjoyed the, you know, uh, the new guy, Nathaniel. I enjoyed him and um, even Beji. Like, he, he didn't have a lot in this, but a lot of funny quips from Sonny against him. Like, I don't know. It's just, I, I'm just really enjoying I think they're really cool. Beji, I mean, Nick Frost is a consummate you know, professional. No matter what he's in, yeah. he's on point all the time, and you know he doesn't have to get into the character. You know, he's, he's the funny guy. He's been playing know? that character with <laughs> Simon Pegg for years now. You know, uh. so anyway, so I really, I really enjoyed uh, that. We'll get more into that later, but yeah, acting with three point five, and the music I'm gonna give a three. Um, uh, yeah, you know, it worked well. You know, um, again, it wasn't in your face. You know, but it worked. You know, you heard it. It it punctuated where it needed to punctuate, and it was eerie when it needed to be eerie. So, yeah. Um. So I guess overall for me is end up going to be uh three point five. That it works out to be three point five. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, Jesse. Over to you, All buddy. Right. So my story rating is a three point five. Uh, a very serious story this time around. Dark tones, dreary tones, really. Uh, really set up some good dialogue between the characters. I especially love Nathaniel's like life that he narrates himself. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. It, it was good. Um, the visuals, I gave a four. Same. Uh, Same. Lots of shadows, which aid with the sense of foreboding. Uh, the costumes were really well done, as always. Uh, weapons, Nathaniel's. I oh know. my god! I know. If that is for sale anywhere, I am uh-huh. buying it. Yep. And <laughs> one thing I absolutely loved, and I have a little visual here, the blades, when they hit blade to blade, instead of blade to side, they get chipped. They get chipped. Mm-hmm. I love idea. it. Characters. Uh, I got a little rhyme here. I gave it a four, four. but I have Quinn being creepy, Vale being sneaky, Nathaniel being weepy. And then I have... Then we have Sonny, who is slightly optimistic that Nathaniel will join them. Sonny was sleepy. Which... Come on, you could have added Sonny was sleepy. Technically, Beiji was sleepy. <laughs> hey, listen. Let's say, oh, ba- there you go. Beiji was there sleepy. You so you, you better put that in the description, man. Don't make me look uh, okay. like an idiot. You're putting that in the description, all right? Remember that. Gotcha. All right. Uh, music, I gave it a three. Very good ambiance sounds. And just, like, there's a waterfall. It really... Mm. Sounds good. They 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 have good audio technicians. What I gotta say. Yeah. You got the swords clanging off each other. Really good. Genuine. Clear. My overall is a three point five. Just a good like above average episode. All these episodes seem to be a three point five for us. Actually. Yeah. Mikey, what'd you say? Three point five. Uh, mine overall was a three. A three. And yours was a three point five. That makes it a three point. Yeah. Yeah, that'll give us that. Yeah, that's gonna give us a three point five overall. So it's like a three point three three repeating. Yeah, but we'll do three point five. So <laughs> oh, you know. round up. Might as well. Yeah. All right. Cool. Three point five. Yeah, definitely middling. You know what? I I feel like three point fives are not that bad. I mean, though they, we say that they're middling, and that's based on our stupid one to five scale. However, three point fives on it like an average. It's an average episode. But you know what though. This it's still like there. Some of it's slightly above average, though. You know what I mean. And I just don't want to take away from it because it's such a fun show and we enjoy watching yeah. it and we enjoy. The um funny note is though, um if, if if you're watching the live reaction and you're like, oh, it's a short live reaction or they didn't really do a lot. We had just watched the finale for The Walking Dead, so it was like we were like already we drained were still from sulking, that. Yeah. We were, I wouldn't say sulking so much. I mean, we were, I was sad, you know, we were sad, but we were also happy that the way it ended and stuff. So we were really just like drained from that hour and a half. So we apologize if it isn't, 
if it if it wasn't the it wasn't the best but we did we did yeah. you know do the live reaction right after that so it's a little behind the scenes there anyway guys i think that's gonna do it uh this was this was a fun episode still I, again I'm, i think we're all enjoying this season oh, so yeah. far it's only three episodes in but we're getting a lot of stuff in in so far so um i, I mean yeah. i'm happy with it I, I enjoy it i know you guys do too yeah. Um, all right, so I think that's going to do it for this review. This is uh, for the Season 2, Episode 3 of uh, Into the Badlands. Guys, if you want, you can, uh, as always, get those comments down there. You know, Let us know what you guys rated it. Let us know your favorite parts. Also, if you haven't checked out the live reaction, go check that out. If you haven't checked out the discussion, go check that out. They're somewhere after the video. You'll find them very, very easy to find. One's this way and one's that way. Yeah, well, at the end of the video. Um, again, you can get to us um, at our socials or at Third Person Pod on everything. If, you wanna, if you're into Facebook, why not join on the Facebook group and say hi? There's a few people on there. Uh, so go go check out that little community over there. We're building that up. If you're listening to this on iTunes, thank you very much. If you might want to throw a little review in there, maybe you might help <laughs> us out a little bit. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much. We appreciate that like that you hit that button because we know you did. And for your comments, we love them. And finally, finally, as always, our friends from ComicBlitz.com have finally released their Android app. So now ComicBlitz.com is available on all your iOS and Android devices. Go get it. And what do you get if you go there? Guess what? We have a promo code for three dollars for your first three months on any subscription that's only a dollar a month so three bucks for your first three months you get yourself some unlimited comics you're going to use that promo code third person pod it's right down there somewhere over there down there yeah you can see it um and that's going to be it guys we want to thank you very much for watching this again go check out the other videos and we will see you on the next badlands review good night <laughs>